do not sleep on cooking do not sleep on it take your time get your worker empire set up for it but do, just don't sleep on it doing any cooking you're gonna need a house obviously first you're gonna need a house and i prefer to have a house that has like the uh, storage in it yeah olvia definitely that's where all my alchemy is done preferably having a container next to you especially with your cook tools will help speed up the process it'll reduce having to stop go out to your storage and all that and i prefer to use the morning light traditional cooking tool it's easy to make you don't have to worry about doing any type of dailies for the supreme it takes a little bit longer to go ahead and cook but you can go ahead and do slower cooking for a lot longer than say your supreme and your advanced so definitely worth checking out if it's not like too much strain on like your worker empire and or buying it if you can definitely when it comes to the crystals when you're going for the buy products i would preferably stick with the weight or you can go with a mastery setup if you guys have all of your mastery crystals i'm missing four of them but that's definitely an option if you're trying to go for the mastery and hopefully try to get more of your buy products but for me we're gonna go stick with our weight and keep up the ability to keep stacking all of our dishes and store them into our storage whenever we want to go ahead and actually sell them make sure you have a plus three or higher cooks clothes it will speed up how fast you're cooking the mastery clothes are main for the imperial turnings you don't really need it for the actual cooking it's not like alchemy where the more mastery you have the better drops that you get and the mastery clothes also has the time reduction placed on it too if you're not really trying to be active then go for your mastery clothes but if you're trying to blow through all of those materials definitely silver embroidered It'll speed up your cook time and you're not going to be sitting there waiting hours on end. Couple great recipes to let's grab a couple examples of dishes that you should be doing. Try to spam your contribution points with the uh, byproducts is pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables will require the vinegar in order to make the vinegar. You will need your fruit, grain, and things like that, which all your workers can go ahead and handle. You can buy your fruit from the, the vendor if that is something that you don't want to gather for, you don't want to have your workers doing. That's something that you can do if like it's interesting for you. Um, your essence of liquor is another good recipe to cook with because of just the, again, fruit, leavening agent, and flour. You know, it doesn't matter which flour you use, corn, wheat, potato, It'll all count and you can get a lot of it so you can cook a lot of them. Now, like we were saying earlier, the grilled bird meat. Grilled bird meat because you can get a lot of the bird meat, the chicken meat and things around your worker empire. This is by far one of the better recipes to go ahead and do the pickled vegetables and the grilled bird meat. For me, I like to do the cooked rice because the cooked rice is used for my Beote County Guck Bap. The Beote County Guck Bap, not only can I sell it for some decent money, but also it can be used for the Imperial turnings for the seals. I can get a little bit of money on the side, the cooking experience and all that, but mainly the, the byproduct. You're mainly just cooking for the byproduct. You're not trying to cook for the money. You're not trying to cook for the, the experience. You're just trying to flood your, your cooking queue with as many easily cookable items that you can so that you have a chance of getting that byproduct. The higher your mastery, the higher chance of getting your byproducts. I'm going to take the grilled bird meat because like I said, it's the easiest one to go ahead and do with just how much bird meat we can find. And it doesn't weigh a lot. So you can get away with having your 17,000 deep fried oil. You can get away with having thousands of salt, hundred thousands of your cooking wine and, and things like that. But it's the bird meat that could start weighing you down if you're going by the hundreds of thousands for everyone that does not want to go to the land of the morning light you can use the chicken meat deep frying oil salt and the cooking wine for those who are out there in the land of the morning light doing your sniper hunting or just killing the cocos that are out there you can use the bird meat the cottonseed oil mutsul and the salt to cook up the same one I am unfortunately at 1467. The more weight that you have, the more of food that you can go ahead and have in your bag. This won't take long. You should be able to start building up your, your byproducts. And after a while, finally have a stack of your witch's delicacy. Preferably, if you have more than 100, it will help out with 
getting your contribution, but you can turn it in and use this to farm your contribution without having to do much of anything. I can do my little contribution grind and do my imperial turn ins. Boom, there you go. You got some contribution points and you got your imperial turn in while also getting the cooking experience for whichever alt you're, you're doing and or your main. But turn that in and it gave us more contribution. I mean, it's not going to be the best, like especially if you have 420 contribution and higher, the soft cap really, really hits you. But for those who are under 420 the more byproducts you have the more experience you get and the more contribution you can blow through my iron man challenge i get all of the contribution points without having to really worry about the ecology just by doing my grilled bird meat doing my vinegar the cooked rice again don't sleep on cooking don't feel like you should not be doing cooking cooking is not going to make you money blah 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 like yes cooking will not make you the money like with mob grinding cooking will not make you the money like with some aspects of gathering alchemy you know things like that but you are using it solely for your contribution grind if you are not wanting to go out there and do the ecology do your monster grinding do all that if you were just looking for a way to sit around do something afk while still having some type of progress yeah cook for your contribution i feel like everyone should be cooking for that contribution up until like 400 contribution points and then you can go do other avenues and trying to pass that soft cap but once you hit that soft cap once you hit 425 it feels like two times three times four times the amount of experience every time you get one more contribution point so it'll take you a lot longer but cooking definitely will help speed that up at least in my opinion like I, it's still the fastest way to go ahead and do it me is also another good one for the the contribution too if you can stack your mastery and or get the recipes that are readily available to you the byproducts are easy to come by because it's not just cooking anymore i feel like alchemy is really up to par now i really feel Feel like they're doing something and we shouldn't be sleeping on the byproducts for alchemy either that's just my opinion i've been capitalizing on the the byproducts from from alchemy alone alchemy i will always tell you use your mastery clothes mastery clothes will reduce your alchemy time while still giving you the mastery needed for getting your extra drop the higher your mastery just like with cooking the higher chance of getting your rare items and it's with the rare items that you'll make your most money with alchemy not necessarily with the actual recipe but with the rare drops and for alchemy unlike with cooking the rare drops is where you get your byproduct anyway so it goes hand in hand like if you're trying to get your truffled mushroom seed you're trying to get any of the burnt remnants any of your alchemy rare drops like the sturdy alchemy stone your your gold bars is a good idea to stack as much mastery as you can and the mastery clothes is your saving grace so silver embroidered is only used for if say you're trying to power level only if you're trying to power level I mainly picked Olvia because it is like the alchemy capital. It's where all of your alchemy dailies are. It's where you can turn in your cooking byproducts. You can turn in your alchemy byproducts. All of it is in one area. You don't have to travel out all the way over here just to turn it in. Your cooking byproducts can be turned in here alchemy byproducts right here you don't have to travel to a whole nother town to look for dalashian you don't have to do all of that it's all readily available and depending on where you choose your house it's a lot closer the storage is right over there your imperial is over there but it's all readily available i'm not running too far and i can have an alt over here i can put an alt over in elton and do the same thing over there where it's a lot closer but for me, for getting the byproducts and, and doing it, I preferably like to do the tear powder reagent and the clear liquid reagent. Not only can you have a worker set up over here in the Knid vacation spot for the purified water, have that easily supplied to you, but also you have a vendor over here in the sand bazaar that you can get the purified water just by buying. You can also get it for filtering the bottled water. So it's readily available. And then after doing your clear powder and clear liquid the sinner's blood is another one that you can easily do if you have a worker set out there doing any type of lumbering you have your bloody tree knots if you have the nodes for your mining you have your powder of flame you have a lot of it 
And then after doing your byproduct grind for the clear liquid or the pure powder, you have the extra, not to mention your sniper hunting, going out and gathering, normal hunting, things like that will supply the blood needed to go ahead and make your cinder's blood. So you can spam a lot of it and get your byproduct like that. Clown's blood is the same way. If you have a lot of rhino blood, you can go ahead and spam that like it's nothing. Another one would be the wise man blood if you have the trace of ascension, which is not too bad to get, but it's still pretty, pretty difficult. And then you start getting into your, your higher bloods that the materials can be a little bit of a bottleneck for the bottleneck i don't really try to go for the bot products i mainly stick to the ones that you pump out you know 20k 30k every day bottle of river water can be easily gathered up for your guild quest and then you can purify it use it for your alchemy get more byproducts and you can dump all of it in if you guys already have all of the extra resources and stock, turning the Mysterious Catalyst in for the contribution point is another great way to do it. They did change the mythical sensor, I want to say. Now requires the uh, Mysterious Catalyst to use, but keep that in mind. Don't throw it off the table. It is something that if you guys don't want to go for your T10 taps or if you guys can't justify spending the money for your T10 taps, the contribution points for your alchemy and all that is a another viable solution. If there's any any other way to farm your contribution points let me know in a comment below subscribe to me turn on all those notifications follow me over on twitch if you haven't already same username all that good stuff and i hope this helps you out with trying to farm up your contribution hitting 400 and or just having something to do with your cooking or your alchemy if you, you're bored and want another afk task to do or your guild quest guild quests are another way to go ahead and try to get your contribution points while also making money Let's go ahead and get this enhanced and see if we can get this done. Simple little enhancement. Just tap it. It goes. Get our plus four. Oh. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We'll try it again. Try it again. Try it again. One of these have to go, right? 21? 21, right? Okay. 